Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing an updated highlight and contour routine on my channel because this has been so highly requested from you guys. And also last month after I did my flawless foundation routine, I wanted to kind of follow it up with a flawless contour and highlight routine. So I'll link my foundation routine down below if you have not watched that yet. But I wanted to follow it up with a step-by-step -step how I highlight and contour video so I can really in-depth tell you guys exactly what it is that I do. And over the past month or so, I've been trying out a lot of new techniques and tricks and tips and stuff that have really been working for me, including baking, which I'm obsessed with. Like, I literally just thought, oh, it's just a phase. Like, why are these people dousing themselves in powder? And now I'm obsessed. So I'm going to show you guys that too. And yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing how I highlight and contour, then you know what to do. Just give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. All right, you guys. So before we go ahead and actually start with the contouring and highlighting, we want to make sure that we have a really good base down to contour and highlight on top of. So first, we want to do primer and foundation. So I'm going to start with my two favorite primers. I'm going to be using the Cover FX Illuminating Face Primer and the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer, the smoothing one. So I'm going to go and prime my skin with both of these. For foundation today, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I have it in the color Natural Beige. And then I'm just blending that out with a dampened beauty blender. This is just my favorite way to blend out my foundation, but you can use any foundation that you know is trusty and works for you and blend it out however you like. This is just what I've been loving recently. I like to contour the skin before I go ahead and highlight because I don't like to mix any of the dark shades with the lighter shades because it can just like get muddy then. So I'm going to contour it first. I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the color Cool Tan. So I'm going to use this on any areas that I want to contour. So I'm going to go right here in my cheekbone area. And as you guys can see, this isn't that dark. Um, when I'm using a cream product, I do like it to be just a few shades light, just a few shades darker than my skin tone, and then I am going to go over it with powder products as well to deepen it up a little bit, but I don't want anything that's too stark of a difference. I am going to bring it on my forehead as well. And then a little bit around my jawbone area. And then I'm just going to go in and blend that out. I'm going to use this brush. This is from Pure. This is their blurring powder brush. And I'm just going to blend that out till it blends nicely in with the skin. Now we're going to go in and highlight. To highlight, I have been loving this MAC Prep and Prime. This is in the color Light Boost. So I'm going to take this and put this underneath my eye in a triangle form. As you guys can tell, this is a yellow toned highlighter. I use a yellow toned one because I have more like medium skin tone. If you have fair skin tone, um, MAC has the exact same product but in the shade Radiant Rose. And that is a pink toned one, and that will be better if you have more lighter, fair skin than the yellow one, because the yellow one won't do that much highlighting for you. Um, pink is better for fair skin, so they do have an option for that as well. Then I am going to bring it down the bridge of my nose, because I like to have a highlighted nose area right above my cupid's bow. And then I am gonna put a little bit on my forehead as well. And then to blend that out, I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Blender. Now that we're all nice and brightened, I am going to go in and conceal my under eyes. If you don't suffer from bad under eyes, then you're not going to have to do this step. You can just use the MAC Prep and Prime, but I do have dark under eye circles, so I am going to go conceal them again in the triangle form. I'm going to be using this NYX HD concealer. I have it in CW02. So just popping this again, same like formation that we did before with the triangle because that's very highlighting and brightening to the under eye. I normally will bring this right around my nose area as well because hormonally women tend to get very red in that area and I certainly do so I always do bring my concealer down in there. And then back in one more time to blend out with the Beauty Blender.
Now we are going to go and bake our under eye concealer. This is very new for me. I recently just started baking, but I do love the final finish that it gives. It does take a little bit longer than a typical highlight and contour, but it really gives a beautiful finish. So when days when I want a really nice highlight contour complexion, I do do this. So I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I've already put it in the top here. And I'm gonna use a dampened beauty blender again. And I'm going to use this to set my under eye. You're basically just gonna use an excessive amount of powder to set your under eye. Let it sit on there for maybe like 15 minutes or so. I normally just go and do my eyebrows and stuff while I'm letting it set. And then you just dust off the excess. We're just gonna go in and really pack on that product. I do definitely want to look for other powders though to do this because the Laura Mercier translucent powder is amazing. I'm sure you guys know that. Everybody talks about it, but this stuff is also expensive and when you bake, you use a lot of products. Like I'm not trying to go through this whole big thing in like, you know, a month. So I gotta look at the drugstore and see what loose powders they have, if they have like anything that is worthwhile checking out and seeing if um, I can get something that's a little bit cheaper because I'm not trying to go through this super fast, that is for sure. And then I am going to take some extra and go right underneath that contour that we did just to clean up that area as well. So now while I'm letting that set, I'm going to go do my eyebrows and then I will be back. Now we are going to dust off the excess, so I'm just going to use the Pure Minerals Precision Blush Brush. Really any fluffy, like clean brush you have will be fine for this, and we're just going to dust off any of that excess powder underneath the eyes. Now we're going to go in and bronze the skin, so I'm going to use this Rimmel Bronzer in the color Sundance, and we're just going to bronze the skin up a little bit. This is not a dark bronzer at all, so I like going in with a bronzer that's just a few shades darker than my skin tone to bronze up the skin before I go in and contour. I just find that it does give a more natural contour when you put down kind of that in-between like blending shade before you go in with a darker contour color, so that is why I do this. Then to contour, I'm going to go in with my favorite contour powder. This is Hoola from Benefit. I absolutely love this. It is the most perfect contour shade. If you have a skin tone similar to me, it is just literally amazing. Love it. And I'm going to go in with a super tiny brush because I like to get a really precise contour. This is the pure blurring concealer brush. So like we're just using all different brushes for everything today. But honestly, it really does work because it's a tiny little brush. You only need a little bit of product and then you just want to suck in your cheek like that, like make a fishy face, and where you want your contour to be, I try and go from the tip of your ear to the side of your mouth. Obviously, you don't want to bring it all the way down towards your mouth, but you want it to go towards that area, like that's kind of the line that you want to do, but you will be able to see your natural cheekbone if you do just do a fishy face like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Now you want to go in with your blush. Today I'm going to be using this Tarte blush in the color Glisten. You can use any blush that you want. I normally place my blush like right on top of my contour. I don't like to bring it all the way on my apples of the cheeks and I just feel like it makes my face look more round and bigger and my face is round enough and big enough as it is so I just kind of place it right on top of where we already put that contour. And I just realized we forgot to contour the nose. How could we forget? So I'm going to go back in with Hula, and I'm going to use a tiny little angled brush. This one is from, I think, Crown Brush. I've had this for so long. It's so old. Um, but really, any tiny little angled brush like this will do. And you just want to use the tiniest bit. So I always like dab it in there and then like hit off any excess because you really don't want a lot because the nose can be very hard to blend out since it is a small area. And you just want to go and get a really precise straight line down the side of your nose and this will make your nose appear slimmer. I don't always do this because um, I don't have like that big of a nose to begin with but I do do it sometimes when I really want my face to look like super chiseled. It definitely does help so just want to make sure that line is really nice and straight down the edge of the nose. 
And last but not least, my favorite part, highlighter. I'm going to be going in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Opal today. And to do my highlighter, I'm going to be using a big fan brush. I'm going to go into that highlight and I'm going to put it right on the tops of my cheeks, like right here. You basically want to highlight anywhere that are natural high planes of your face. So like the tops of your cheekbones, down the bridge of your nose, and above your cupid's bow is typically where I highlight. I like a pretty intense highlight, so you guys will see I pack on the highlighter, but obviously you can just go in with a lighter hand if you want less of a highlight. All right, you guys, so now that my makeup is all done, this is the completed look. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys in showing you how I contour and highlight and bake. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below if you have not already. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.